Tragic news out of Colleton County. The fifth grade student critically injured during a fight inside a classroom has died. Ten-year-old Renaya Wright was a student at Forest Hills Elementary in Walterboro. Monday afternoon, she was airlifted to the hospital in critical condition after a fight with another student. And this just in, the student's death will be discussed during a special school board meeting tomorrow at the Colleton County District's office at 1 p.m. News 2's Taylor Murray joins us now from Walterboro. And Taylor, can you tell us more about Renaya Wright and the concerns parents now have about school safety? Yeah, a lot of concerned parents here in the community tonight, and I've spent the day in the community talking with people about this, and they are heartbroken over the loss of Renaya. In front of the school, the community has been leaving flowers, balloons, and teddy bears as a memorial to honor Renaya. I spoke with a woman who is an acquaintance of Renaya Wright's family and a parent of a fifth grader here at Forest Hills, and she has provided pictures to us from Facebook of the young girl who she says was such a light. She says that many people in the community believe that the victim was being bullied in school. I just know the bullying is definitely a big issue at the school right now. Um, even my son's going through it, and it, this is what bullying does. And it's gone to the point now a child has lost her life, and we need to do more about it. In a statement released by the Colleton County School District earlier today, they described Renaya as a wonderful student. They say, quote, she loved to write, spend time with her friends, play basketball, and loved being a big sister. She was actively involved in her church as a junior usher. She will be missed greatly by her family, friends, and the entire school community, end quote. As I continued to speak with a family acquaintance, she was overwhelmed with emotion, and now she wants more answers and for the community to make sure that this never happens again to another child. They are just a great family, and they don't deserve this. And I would wish there was so much any of us could do, and there's nothing we can do now. So now our goal is we need to prevent it from happening again. At this time, we do not know the exact cause of death, but according to the Colton County Coroner's Office, an autopsy will be performed on Friday. Now, I have reached out to the Colton County School District, asking them specifically if this young girl was bullied in the past and to ask them to talk about bullying here at Forest Hills Elementary School. They say that they prefer not to comment at this time. They do tell me, however, that counselors and psychologists were on hand all day to address this with the students and provide support for them. Reporting live in Colton County, Taylor Murray, Count On 2. Disturbing and heartbreaking story. Thank you, Taylor. The school district tells us the student involved in the fight with Renaya Wright is suspended. We know that child is an 11 year old girl. The Colleton County School District says there are two school resource officers responsible for rotating through five elementary schools along with one early childhood center. No word yet if an SRO was on duty at Forest Hills Elementary School when Renaya Wright was injured. This story has caught the attention of leaders across the state. Superintendent Molly Spearman released this statement. It reads in part, My heart aches for the students, parents, peers, and the entire Walterboro community as they grieve the loss of a child who has left us far before their time.